You know when you're feeling yourself when you're making your cheekbones like. <laughs> I really love this look. Um, this is like a holiday festive look. It's green. I really bought this eyeshadow just for this holiday look. I hope you guys really like it. I love this lips. I haven't done a gloss in a real while, in a long while, and I'm thinking of purchasing some new glosses. I have a problem, but yeah. I hope you guys really like this look. Um, if you want to see how to get it done, continue watching. You already know the drill. So I'm going to start off with priming my eye. I'm using the matte. Uh, MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Laying Low. I'm going to use that to prime all over my eyes. And you definitely want to use a primer for like holiday looks, whatever event that you're going to that's going to be ours. Before I go on, I think I should start by saying that I already started my face with foundation. I'm actually trying out Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Foundation. And I don't recommend using a brush for that because it came out a little bit streaky so I just went in with uh, a sponge. So I went in with the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques and I was just, I used the sample from Sephora, it's the number 10 foundation and I was stippling all over my face and then I realized it was mad streaky and I was like, save me. So I used the uh, Real Techniques uh, sponge, beauty sponge and it's dry so I just basically picked up excess product and Kind of made it look more seamlessly. I already contoured and used my highlight powders and did my brows so that's where I'm at right now. I feel like my face is not matching. Like I hope I don't look super pale but besides the way I hope you guys get the eye look out of this makeup tutorial. But I'm gonna use uh, Red Earth by Anastasia for my crease. These shadows are really pigmented so I like working with a little bit of it at a time. I'm just going into the crease with a scoop like motion. It just helps to blend, especially if you're using a very tapered blending brush. This is E40 by Sigma. So there, here's a, a simple tip. If you want something blown out, I would say use a brush that's, it's funny how they call this tapered, but it's a little, you know, blown out. I would consider something like this being tapered. Hold on. I would consider something like this more tapered more blown out. You see what I'm saying? And if you're lighter skin, I would say go with something like Swiss Chocolate by MAC and work to a deeper color. But for me, I like my tutorials to be really super easy. Um, and th that's for the most part. But sometimes I will go more detailed and add like 20 shadows like my last video. But um, I would say for de deeper dark skin people, you could just, you know, go in with a deep color and blend it out. That's just me. I could work from lighter color to deeper color, color for a smoky eye. And what's left, I'm just bringing it to my inner corner of my lid. And, you know, because most of the color is in the outside of the eye and you just want to swoop it in to give a nice brush of color across. But we're going in with a green smoky eye, so that's not going to really show in in the center of the eye. I'm going to take my trusty black liner, which is Immortal by Makeup Geek, and basically give myself a black base on my lid so the green can pop more. Another option for a black base could be Black Bean by NYX. It's just those white pencils that NYX makes. And it's just an easy black base to throw over. I'm going to take the color Moss by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just place that right over where I place my black base. Just to reduce fallout and get most opaqueness, just press the shade on the lid. Now that you've done that, now you can just start easily buffing the harsh line. I'm going back with Red Earth because I lost some color and it's going to help blend everything nice together. So what I usually do, I pick up product and I start out here in the outer V and blend in.
and I personally, it's a preference. I personally like taking my eyeshadow and winging it out every time. But I would say do what suits your eye shape. This will have to be my first green eye look because I do not like do green, but this is a beautiful shade. And the, the fav my favorite part about this shadow, this green eyeshadow, is because it has like reflex of gold. It's like a goldish green. That's why I went for it. Now I'm gonna go back in with my gel liner and basically run my whole eye. I'm just gonna add black in my um, upper waterline and bottom waterline and do my gold wing, wing liner. I'm taking Red Earth by Anastasia and blending on my water um, bottom lash line. I'm going back in with Moss and just placing it in the center. So I'm going to take Mixing Liquid in Maron Gold in 129 metallic powder and make my gold wing liner. It comes off looking something like that. While I let the gold liner dry, after it's dry, I'm gonna add these Clean Bee Lashes. I've been waiting to use these. Add some mascara on your bottom and lash, bottom and top lashes, and then add on your uh, lashes. Then I'm gonna use Raisin by MAC for my blush. Highlighting with the same old, same old. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm gonna put in Becca Topaz, which I used to highlight as my tear duct color. And when you wear green, personally, I really like wearing peachy nudes because it goes so well with green eye looks. That's like the perfect nude, like the perfect nude. So the only thing I could think of is a certain MAC lipstick. Let me just get that. I'm gonna clean off my lip balm, so persistent. This is a little bit dark for me, so I'm gonna lighten it up with a uh, little bit of whirl. I've been missing the glossy look, so I'm gonna add see through lip gloss on top. It's really gonna make it glossy. So that is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you happen to like this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Let me know what was your favorite product in this video. And give me ideas from for what other colors I should use for a holiday look because I'm in the groove of doing holiday looks. And it's fall, and you can wear all your browns and smokies, and yeah. So just give me ideas, and yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.